de sangre. This is the best. Para pa pam. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, test it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.
Welcome to Pireo Sport, Greece's largest port. This is the key gateway to Europe in southeastern Mediterranean Sea. This is the entry point where the maritime Silk Road meets the land route. This is Valentini and I'm Maria. Uh, today we are in front of the Costco Netherlands container ship which docked here last night. We are at the premises of uh, the Piraeus container uh, terminal, a Costco subsidiary which uh, uh, operates which, uh, which took over the operations of the port in 2010. The Hong Kong flagged uh, ship started uh, in mid-May, a 40-day journey to Europe from Shanghai. Uh, the ship transports electronic appliances, bicycles and other products we are assembled or made in China. Uh, it, uh, it has a 29-member crew and uh, in a few minutes it, it will leave Piraeus port, it will depart Piraeus and its final destination for this trip is Netherlands. Uh, the vessel uh, set sail to revive the ancient maritime silk road that uh, for centuries connected China to the world. Uh, this, uh, uh, this time on board the vessel was our Xinhua colleague, Mr. Yang, and uh, we will have a chance uh, later today to talk to him and hear from him his experience uh, on the journey. Uh, we will also have the opportunity to talk to the vessel's captain, uh, the Captain Wu, and he will share with us his experience of traveling in the 21st century maritime silk road. Uh, the ancient maritime silk road was a crucial route uh, for trade and cultural exchanges between China, Africa and Europe for several centuries. Today, the Belt and Road Initiative consisting of the Silk Road Economic Belt and the 21st Century Maritime Silk Road proposed by the Chinese Presidency aims to build an even stronger trade and infrastructure network connecting Asia and Europe and Africa along the ancient trade routes and promote common development among all countries involved. Piraeus holds a leading role in this bid and China's Costco shipping's investment in Greece's largest port is helping in recent years to transform dramatically the image of the port into an even more important transport hub at the crossroads of three continents. In a few minutes we will have the opportunity to also hear from Piraeus container terminal uh, top managers uh, as well as Captain Fu. Uh, the previous uh, CEO of uh, PCT, who since last number, summer has uh, taken over the uh, helm at Piraeus Port Authority. Piraeus Port uh, Authority, a majority stake at Piraeus Port Authority, was acquired by China Shipping Costco Company last year as part of Greece's uh, bailout program, as part of Greece's privatization uh, program. Uh, they will all give us their views on the significance of uh, Piraeus port in the modern maritime Silk Road, the international trade along the ancient routes, the achievements of Sino-Greek collaboration in recent years, and of course their plans for the future. And now it's over to Valentini. Thank you, Maria. Uh, but before we hear from Jan and the captains, we are here to give you some more information on the vessel which will host us later today, the container terminal and Piraeus port in general. Uh, one of today's most technically advanced ships in the world, Costco Netherlands, is an over 150,000 tons ocean-going container vessel. She is 366 meters long, 51.2 meters wide, and 67 meters high, and can carry up to 13,386 TEUs, that is 20-foot equivalent units. It was manufactured by China Tong Costco KHI Ship Engineering uh, Limited in 2013. As we mentioned before, the container has a 29-member uh, crew. Um, the captain, Mr. Gu, is uh, an experienced seafarer who will uh, share with us uh, uh, his experience of traveling with uh, Costco Netherlands. Um, China Costco Shipping Corporation Limited, uh, owner of uh, MV Costco Netherlands, 
owns the world's fourth largest container shipping fleet and offers service on more than 100 routes globally, including those from the Far East to Northwestern Europe, the Mediterranean, the Middle East and Africa, as well as regional feeders within Europe and Southeast, uh, and Southeast Asia nations. Uh, Costco's investment in the Pires container terminal coincided with the outbreak of the Greek debt crisis, which brought the ailing economy at the brink of meltdown. Down. And China's commitment to the Pires project has been praised as a valuable aid to Greece's struggle to exit the crisis. However, Pires port, where we stand right now, has been praised by all sides as an exemplary success story of win-win cooperation. Let's see why. In 2010, when Costco subsidiary took over from the Greeks the management of piers 2 and 3 at Pires Container Terminal, roughly 900,000 containers passed through the terminal. In 2015, the number had reached 3.3 million containers and in 2016, 3.74 million. Pires has shot up world rankings of container ports uh, to 38th in 2016 from 93rd in 2010. Uh, as Pires Container Terminal Management has told the Xinhua, uh, Costco Shipping wants to boost the port's container traffic to 5 million by 2018 under its plan to turn this into a transshipment hub for rapidly growing trade between Asia and Eastern Europe. At the same time, container business accounted for more than half of Pireus' total turnover of around 100 million euros last year. The piers are now being upgraded and important infrastructure works have connected the terminal to the Greek railway network as the future plans of Greeks and Chinese aim to transform the wider area in a major logistics center. Taking cue from the PCT's impressive growth, Costco Shipping recently moved on to further establish its presence in Piraeus. Since last year, the corporation bought 51% of the port's operating company for 368.5 million euros in one of Greece's biggest and most strategic privatizations since the debt crisis began in 2009. The data released uh, in the authority's annual financial report for 2016 is indeed impressive. According to the latest statistics, there is already a 13% increase in profit before tax in 2016 for the PPA. Let us also share a few information of uh, the city where, uh, where this port uh, stands, the city of Piraeus. Pireus, which roughly means Pireus, which roughly means the place over the passage, is located within the Athens urban area and has been inhabited since the 26th century before Christ. The city was largely developed in the early 5th century when it was selected to serve as the port city of classical Athens and was transformed into a prototype harbor concentrating on the import and transit trade of Athens. It became uh, the chief harbor of ancient Greece, but declined gradually after the 4th century AD, growing once more in the 19th century, especially after Athens' declaration as the capital of Greece. In the modern era, Piraeus is a large city of, uh, of 450,000 people, bustling with activity and an integral part of Athens, bearing the characteristics of a huge marina and a busy commercial and industrial center. In 1985, Pires and Shanghai became sister cities in a gesture that validated the age-old cultural bonds between the peoples of Greece and China, but maybe also foretold their future thriving cooperation.
Okay, thank you. So first of all, welcome to Bilas Container Terminal. We are 100% uh, subsidiary of the Costco Swim Port. And here we provide the uh, first class loading and discharge service and the all entire terminal service. Let's say it's a modern and efficient terminal. We are 100% uh, subsidiary of Costco CP, but uh, we are a common user terminal. So we provide service for all the carriers, if you like, sure. Uh, if we think about uh, from the beginning of year 2010, we first uh, took over this uh, management of this terminal. Uh, let's say there's a big change. For example, the Pier 3, here we are, is, is still in C. We fill up and construct this pier from the sea. So it's a big change. And also you can see from all these five cranes is uh, um, first class, uh, let's say. They, they can uh, provide the loading and discharge service for the, the biggest uh, uh, container vessel, even for the next generation of the vessel. Uh, he can operate uh, 25 uh, row. And the biggest up to now in the sea is only 20, 23. So you can imagine uh, how, how big it is. Not only big, also it is uh, uh, very efficient. Uh, this equipment can move uh, together to 40 containers. So anyway, by this equipment investment and plus our cooperate with our local team. Let's say we have only seven Chinese, but the local team uh, it's uh, more than 1,000. So uh, by all the team work together and uh, we managed to provide the first class service to our customer and uh, win their support. So throughput wise, uh, we had uh, increased uh, more than five times compared when we took over. So let's say we are happy uh, to get this success uh, and I believe also the uh, Greek social is happy. I hope so. We are, let's say, we are part of them. We are proud for that. Uh, we will continue, and uh, we hope to do something more for the uh, country. And uh, I believe the country will support us uh, like previous. Because this is indeed, we need to support each other in order to create something new to, to, to let's say, uh, get development together with this country and ourselves, Costco Shipping. Let's say in the future, we, uh, we try to uh, develop this, this port uh, to the first uh, transshipment port all over the Mediterranean uh, because we want to come to the number one. And the second is we, we now we try to develop the, uh, this port as the gateway of the South Europe through the uh, China Europe uh, Sea Land Express service. And also we, we are dream to be the uh, distributor center uh, near this area. I mean, this area is European uh, Middle East and Africa. We we hope we can develop this port as a modern and uh, uh, efficiency distributed center. <laughs> the hopes of things. Thank you. Yes, yes. We are here with Mr. Nico Salvanitis, a shipping agent uh, and an important uh, customer of uh, an important client of uh, Pyrex Container Terminal. Uh, he's here to give us an insight on uh, and his impressions on what has changed uh, in the port since Costco shipping took over and what is his overall uh, uh, customer experience. Good morning uh, and th thank you very much. I'm involved in this business for over 35 years. So I have a good uh, big picture of the port as client, as shipping agent. What I can say from the time that PCT took over around uh, from 2010, 
We are deeply impressed and we are very proud to say that the operation changed dramatically on a better way, much better. We are facing a productivity which is 100% better than the previous time. We have a port which take care of the clients on the best way and we are facing also a scale of economy because the vessel stayed in, uh, staying in the port much less time than previously. So the company is also earning from this excellent op operation. Uh, we enjoy very much of the new investment here, of the new terminal of Pier 3, a part of the development of the Pier 2, and looking forward for a better days in the future, and we are very, very glad to cooperate with Pyreus Container Terminal. We do appreciate the Costco Pacific investment in Pyreus, and we're looking forward in the future for more, even more. Thank you. Uh, what, um, what were the main problems before, and what are the main advantages now for you as a client? In the past, we are facing huge delays. A vessel of only 100 moves containers used to stay in the port over three, five shifts and now only a few, time, or a few hours, this is a big thing. Also, we have new infrastructure, new gunting crates, you may see, which also give us uh, opportunities to work better. Uh, no strikes, which is very, very important, and uh, a very uh, client-centric attitude of the Pyreus container staff. Uh, will you continue cooperating with, uh, with Pyreus Container Terminal? And uh, would you suggest also that uh, other um, colleagues of yours uh, collaborate? Of course, and uh, as sh shipping agent representing uh, various uh, shipping lines in, in abroad, we do advertise the uh, good operation of Pyreus, uh, what is the profit that they, have, they may have using Pyreus. So let's say also we do this through our uh, shipping agent association and uh, we do invite all the companies to use Pyreus as port of call and why not as main hub. Are you optimistic about the future of, uh, of Pyreus? Yes, we are very optimistic and taking into consideration the new policy of Costco investment, investment in the Pyreus port, we are very optimistic and we strongly believe that the policy of a new Silk Road, one belt, one road, will be a very fruitful uh, thing for the Greek development and the Greek economy. Thank you very much, Mr. Avani. Thank you very much, too. Thank you. First of all, we regain back the reliability of Pyreus. Everybody knows Pyreus as a reliable and efficient port nowadays. This is what we have achieved. How we have done it? First of all, infrastructure-wise, we have a new terminal. We have two more uh, piers for giga container vessels than what we had before. So. Pyreus, when we finish the construction here, will be the only port in the Med that will have four, four or five uh, berth availabilities to have uh, uh, five giga container vessels concurrently. So, if you imagine that when Costco came here, uh, the Pyreus was listed number 90, 93 in the world, and now it's number 38, then you may understand the, the difference. 
from 960,000 containers, we have reached more than 3 million 500 last year, and our goals are for becoming Pioneers the biggest port in the Med. In 2013 it has been completed and this project was uh, on progress for 12 years so it was only when Costco came here that things were boosted in order to be completed, this has to be said. And uh, this is a very great a big tool for the materialization of the concept of the management which is Pyreus to become not only as a huge hub in the Met not only a very big distribution center in the East Med, but also a very big logistic center. So in order to provide logistic services, you need to have the infrastructure and to have the abilities to move your cargo from here, let's say, to the Central Europe. And under the concept of the One Belt, One uh, Road initiative, this is what we will try to do. And uh, we are trying to convince the market that there is the south gate of Europe and this is Pyreus and they have to use it not only for cargoes coming from Asia and uh, China to Europe but also on the other way around. And Hewlett Packard. Uh, Pyreus as uh, their logistic uh, transport hub? Yes. How can the logistics uh, help transform, further transform Pareos? Uh, there, are, there is a, an analysis which says that if we in Greece will be able to get our market share that we deserve geographically wise, if you look on the map, so what we deserve geographically, that means that the the income from the logistic services only from cargoes which are going through Pyreus without any services to be given, the duties paid will be more than 1.6 million uh, billion uh, euro, which means automatically that if we invest in this uh, scope of business, uh, logistics will become the first industry of the country, even the income will be higher than the tourism. So this is our goal and this is our, our target. We will just to become number one industry of Greece. Thank you. And now you will have the time to see for yourself some footage from uh, the Piraeus container terminal.
Hi, I, I am a Yanliang correspondent of Xinhua News Agency, and uh, from April the 15th until today, I am uh, on board of Costco Netherlands from China to Europe along the 21st century maritime Silk Road. Uh, as we all know that the Belt and Road Forum for International Cooperation is going to be held in a few days, uh, in a few days later, and uh, we are very proud to be part of it. Now, first. Let's have an introduction of our uh, team. And uh, this is our captain, Mr. Uh, Gu Zhengzhong. And uh, he's, uh, he's the captain, and he's in charge of almost everything uh, from the sailing of, the, of this giant vessel and uh, uh, to the uh, uh, cargo safety. And uh, uh, this gentleman is uh, our mm. Chief Officer, Mr. Li Hongbin, and is 30 years old, very promising guy, and he graduated from Shanghai Maritime University of China. And uh, this is our, uh, our commissar, Mr. Zheng Mingjie, and he's a very senior one and a veteran sailor, have uh, 37 years uh, experiences on sailing. And uh, after this trip from China to Europe, he will, uh, he's going to retire. And uh, this gentleman, Mr. Tai Tuan Jie, is uh, this handsome guy is going to take a position after Mr. After Mr. Jones retire. And this is our chief uh, engineer, Mr. Uh, Tai Jian Jun. He and his men uh, takes care of the engine. You see, the Costco vessel is, is a very is a giant merchant vessel and has uh, 366 meters long, uh, 51 meters. Uh, why and the 67 meters uh, uh, high. You see, we have to power it, and Mr. Te and his uh, men take care of the engine to give the power of this of, of this giant vessel. And I'm the journalist. I write their stories, and uh, it is an interesting journey, also a very difficult one, very challenging one. Uh, from this journey, I, I know how this uh, uh, how this vessel sails, and uh, how what do they do when they are on duty, and what they really do when they are free, especially after long days work. And uh, uh, as a journalist, I write their stories, and I send it via the marine satellite. It's, 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 uh, it's, it's, uh, sometimes it is difficult, and you see, that is why the communication is very important. You see, this, that's, this is our uh, marine satellite. Yeah, this is where I, I already write their stories. This is uh, my computer. This is my computer. And this is the marine satellite. Yeah, this is our, this is the marine satellite. Yeah, and that's that's the other part. See how important the communication is, and this that is one of the reasons why the Belt and Road Initiative is proposed by China. That is to communicate to contact. The Belt and Road Initiative is to make the world connected and win-win from China to Southeast Asia, to from China to Africa, and from China to Europe and to every country that welcomes this initiative and would like to participate in. In Chinese history, there was a maritime Silk Road, and we call it ancient time, ancient maritime Silk Road. It is a road that witnessed the Silk trade and people-to-people -people exchanges between China and the world. Drawing inspirations from history, 
The Chinese government proposed the Belt and Road Initiative in 2013, aims to promote a common development, to build a community with a shared destiny, and we are pretty sure that it will be beneficial not only to China and to Europe, but also to the world as a whole in the future. Now let's have an interview with our chief officer. And why would you like to be a Chin why would you like to be a sailor? And what makes you proud as a Chinese sailor? Oh, well, I, I have been a seafarer for eight years by now. Uh, I have many feelings. In, and as you know, uh, most of the earth's surface is covered by water. And uh, have you ever dreamed of? traveling to remote countries, I have. So I have enjoyed my experiences for traveling all over the world, I see. And uh, what makes me proud? Yeah. Uh, with the development of our country's ocean shipping career as a seafarer in a new area. and. Uh, a member of Costco Shipping Lines, I'm very proud just to be. Thank you. Thank you for your service as Chinese sailor along the 21st century maritime sail group. For those who just joined us, we are on board the Costco Netherlands a container vessel which docked last night at the premises of Pireus Container Terminal, a China Costco Shipping Corporation subsidiary, which, is, which successfully manages the site since 2010. Um, let us say a few words uh, about the Costco shipping project in Greece and the benefits uh, it bears for the two countries, the region and the world trade in general. Uh, China and Greece have pinned great hopes on Piraeus port for the economic progress of both countries, bilateral cooperation and the future of world trade in the framework of the Belt and Road Initiative. Seven years since Costco Shipping's arrival at Port Piraeus port, the image of Greece's largest port has already changed impressively. The port has since seen an eightfold increase in commercial traffic with companies like uh, ZTE and Hewlett Packard using cargo terminals as logistics hubs for their men.
Greece stands to benefit from China's growing influence in the global market, while the port of Piraeus can play a pivotal role in the development of its economy, as Chinese companies see further huge investment opportunities in Greece, and this is something that is backed by the Chinese government, said Xu Lirong, the president of China Costco Shipping Corporation Limited, last year while visiting Greece. The company's objective is to transform Piraeus into the Mediterranean's most competitive port. The concession deal signed last year for the sale of Piraeus Port Authority foresees investments of 30 of 350 million euros in the next decade for the cruise sector, ship repair yards and other functions. Piraeus is a potentially important entry point for the Chinese investment in goods into Europe. Both Athens and Beijing view the cost of shipping investment at Piraeus as an opportunity for China and Greece to cooperate in shipbuilding, finance, science, innovation, food, tourism, culture and education. After all, the basic idea behind the revival of the ancient Silk Road is that trade routes brings people closer and strengthens the friendship and collaboration in all fields. To this effect, on May 14th, China will host the high-level Belt and Road Forum for the International Cooperation in Beijing, during which participants, among them Greek Prime Minister Alexis Tsipras, will have an opportunity to explore cooperation opportunities and build cooperation platforms. Thank you for watching. Goodbye from Pyro Sports Container, uh, container Terminal. Thank you.